Folks living in West Ashley are getting one step closer to some much needed drainage work in the area. Millions of dollars in state funding is going toward two projects to help bring the flood relief that they say they need. Our town of Maxwell joins us from Windermere Boulevard this morning, which is one of those areas impacted. So, Tiana, break down exactly what this project will look like. Yeah, Katie Shelby. Well, here in the Windermere area, Charleston City officials are talking about replacing the single 24 inch diameter pipe. Now, that's about the size of a basketball. We'll see four 48 inch diameter pipes to better carry all of that water that typically floods the areas around here. The problem for both uh, the Windermere and the DuPont Wapu communities are the are the undersized drainage pipes. This means current pipes are not big enough to move the amount of stormwater during weather events. To help, City of Charleston officials are looking at over 1,700 acres for two flood drainage projects in the Windermere and the DuPont Wapu areas in West Ashley. With the first set of $1 million, old Windermere area residents will see larger pipes installed and new pipes behind the school district. And for DuPont Wapu residents, another $1 million is helping complete the final designs of phase one for larger pipes. This helps more water to flow into the marsh system and out of the historically flooded areas. Matt Fountain, the director of stormwater management, says both projects will take some time to fit the new pipes with the area's high development. You're trying to figure out ways to do the improvements without neg too many negative impacts to adjacent property owners or, or finding that, that real estate to be able to acquire. Even on Windermere here, we're having to acquire right of um, drainage easement from some of the residential properties to bury some of the pipes like at the front of the yard, right on the edge of the road. Officials plan to have public meetings to share final designs with the community and construction for both projects is expected to start next year with a finish line for 2026. Now, council members will approve the grant funds in tonight's meeting at 5 p.m. And from there, the state funds will go into the construction project's budget to get everything started. In Charleston, Tiana Maxwell, Live 5 News.